Amy Schumer might need to get kicked in the dick on Striker's Perspective. So, this is Striker's Perspective. This is Jason coming to you live and in living color. Well, that's just, that's just dumb. Because that's a lie. Well, I mean, it is live. It's not live. It's pre-recorded video game footage. The thing that everybody else uses on freaking YouTube. So... I haven't been up here long enough. First off, yeah, we're gonna get talking into, uh, is joke stealing, uh, is it okay? Or basically did Amy Schumer steal jokes? And, uh, and we're gonna have some, from some stuff just from me at the end. Uh, technical issues and aside. But first, I want to apologize for being one of those guys that is just using game footage of random games that don't really relate to the subject. I know, there's a lot of guys that do that. I'm literally on the verge of changing that. In fact, Striker's Perspective will probably be the first thing to do. Uh, I've got... I've got a uh, Adobe Premiere now. I've been using Photoshop uh, the last couple of weekends, if you've noticed on my site, because I've been making thumbnails like crazy for a lot of my popular videos and for basically anything new I got coming out. So I've been working with Photoshop uh, quite a bit on my free time in order to do that. And the next thing I'm going to do is to start... Wow, I gave you a great screenshot here, didn't I? <laughs> this is, so I'm going to be giving you, uh, uh, I just crap my own brain. So I'll be giving, uh, I'm going to be starting to use more of Premiere here coming up. And, uh, and that's where you, you know, you take, uh, other footage and I can put documents in there and I can show you the websites that I'm visiting. And, uh, this... You can admit this would be a perfect time for me to switch over to that kind of format because I could actually use the articles and show you the text that I'm going to be quoting from because it's not really related to video games at all, but it basically is my thoughts on the matter of stealing jokes uh, in the comedy world. But I, I, I had game footage and I wanted to get this thing out because quite honestly I haven't worked with Premiere at all. So I would have to figure out how to do that for the very first time. And I kind of want a weekend, you know, in order to get those things in order. Uh, you know, moving around text and zooming in and doing that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's just it's just my inability to uh, get that going. But it's we will like get there. The gym. Uh, otherwise, we'll let's get on with the main us. show. So, is joke stealing okay? And, uh, more importantly, of course, uh, did Amy Schumer steal jokes? Um, this is, this is three-fourths home. Uh, you probably notice I'm starting to pick games that are actually quite a bit quieter, uh, in the background. But don't worry, like I said, when I, when I switch over, I will probably use old game footage of mine that got recorded on, that got recorded on my Xbox One. But I'll probably just remaster the video. So my video will look like crap because it's going to be remastered video of stuff that was already mastered on the Xbox One. But my audio is going to be clean because I do already have a new condenser microphone. And uh, I'm kind of excited to be able to try that out. So you won't be having the stuff, uh, the gameplay footage in the background uh, to worry about uh, kind of like you do now. I have no control over audio in Upload Studio, but I am trying to make some changes. So that will happen but as uh, I said before let's get on with Amy Schumer so yes we are going to continue the epilogue uh, no 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 not 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 that I'm not supposed to comment on the the video game footage in the background right that's what you're supposed to do but uh, but it's just so cool sometimes but yeah so did Amy Schumer steal jokes I've I've watched a number of different things uh, some of them that like there's literally one that compares there's actually, like, I've watched three videos now that compare a joke um, that Dave Chappelle did, you know, on, you know, Where Do I Come? And uh, Amy Schumer does the same thing, but there's really not any... Uh, I never really saw the correlation between the two different bits. Uh, Dave Chappelle, I, I laughed every single time I saw it, but uh, I never got what they were trying to say. That that's a pretty you know general thing. That's that's the problem actually with humor in general is the fact that uh, 
you know, that, that's why they call them sitcoms. It's situational comedy, you know. Oh, you know, Billy, he has two dates for prom. What's he going to do? Well, in the real world, this never, ever, ever is an issue. But since we're on television, he's going to try to keep both dates. And to add nauseam, he's probably going to have to have two different outfits that appeal to each girl, right? I mean, that that's even more contrived. That's what situational comedy is. It's comedy that almost kind of writes itself. Or you can see the jokes coming. Uh, no pun intended. But, uh, yeah, so... <sighs> so she's been accused of, of stealing quite a bit from a, a number of different sources. Uh, like Patrick O'Neill. Um, but she she's defended herself quite a bit. And the two ladies that actually... Uh, we're going after her. I believe they ended up apologizing. Wendy Lieberman, uh, Kathleen Madigan. Um, and I watched the, the little clips, and you're talking about, you know, why would she steal these little bits from various years, from various people, and uh, and seemingly put them in there? I really think it's just a matter of it's quite possible that, uh, well, Amy uses writers. Now, you, you could get into question about, you know, whether or not comedians should use writers. That's almost a new subject on its own. Gotcha! There are some, like Joe Rogan, he's, he's admitted that he's never saw the need for writers because he always wanted to make sure that his material, you know, wasn't sifted from some other place. But, you know, when you're popular, when you have your own TV show and you're doing stand-up, yeah, some of the big guys, they actually do have writers. You know um, they do have people that actually pitch well. them Doing some the ideas, and then ultimately the comedian himself, you know, decides what uh, they're going to use in their shows. But yeah, it, it does happen, and it's not, it's not necessarily reported a whole lot. But uh, some of the big comedians, they've actually admitted to having writers in some regards. But, uh, so yeah, and pretty much, you know, the Amy Schumer thing, I, th I think, has kind of gone down. Uh, the, some of the stuff that I saw, it wasn't really seemingly the same subject, or it was kind of in generalizations. This is me opening up, like, about 15 packs for Horde. Some people like this kind of stuff, so I, I throw it into these kind of videos. So, it, enjoy if you want, you can kind of see what, um, I think I cut off a couple of Horde packs. But you can see what about 12 or or 13 horde packs, uh, opening them up will get you. I got a few cool things toward the end, but, uh, and, and Schumer didn't believe that she thought the accusations were personal. Um, let's see. So that, that kind of does that, but obviously, uh, you know, Carlos Mencia has been known for being particularly egregious when he copied an infamous bit from Bill Cosby. Um, almost word for word, mimicking Cosby's delivery and using the exact same punchline. And that was basically the downfall of his Mind of Mencia uh, TV show back in 2007 when Joe Rogan also had uh, confronted him. But Carlos Mencia had been stealing jokes for quite a while. Um, but Joe Rogan had, had finally, you know, confronted him on stage after basically he had confronted him. Uh, they kind of confronted each other in a way, but uh, and that video went viral, and that that was the big downfall for him essentially back in 2007. But yeah, comedians, uh, there's there's been some that have stolen uh, jokes. One of the more famous ones was Milton Berle. Uh, he has passed away since, but he was known for stealing a joke. And Bob Hope and others, they all knew he did it, but uh, that was back in the day where normally you didn't you know mention that kind of thing. Dane Cook, that's kind of why you don't see too much of Dane Cook. Dane Cook was at the pinnacle of stand-up uh, comedy back in like 2005. And, uh, and he got one of his more well-known examples of stealing a bit was uh, from Louis C.K. And, uh, and, and Louis C.K., obviously, uh, you know, good old Louis. Uh, he downplayed it mostly and said that he's not going to do anything about it. You know, he's... Some comedians are always the bigger man, you know? I mean, what are you going to do? Sue him for it? You could argue it is it is an, an intellectual property. But uh, Robin Williams has been accused, of course, 
that uh, you know he's he's stolen he's stolen uh, d different jokes, and uh, he's often playfully referred to it as joke sampling. But he's even admitted uh, in the more recent times uh, before his death that uh, you know that he was wrong and and he was uh, often taking uh, either so much cocaine or other drugs that he didn't know what he was honestly saying. Uh, and he did, I believe, apologize uh, quite a bit when he was doing one of his tours uh, for the stealing. So, you know, he's, he, he's admitted to doing it, and uh, he said he's sorry for it. Uh, Dennis Leary, that was a huge thing, too. You know, apparently Dennis Leary had stolen a, a bit from Louis C.K. as well. And... But yeah, so Amy, Amy Schumer's thing probably, you know, her... The writers that she used there's probably some used material that she didn't know about because she's admitted that she didn't know about any used bits her writers might have gave them to it and they're probably getting an earful now about that but yeah i don't believe that she did because the footage and stuff that i saw you know it was it was a little pretty general it uh, it wasn't necessarily aimed just at her and uh Mencia, although in a 2010 interview called I Am Comic, Mencia did proclaim that he stole jokes, but he was actually very less forthcoming about mentioning this in subsequent interviews. So he mentioned that he did it one time before, but he really hasn't gone back to it. But Mencia is still trying to come back. He's lost 70 pounds. He actually looks pretty good. I'm glad he's gotten more into shape, but he's still doing the same kind of jokes. Um, you know, pushing the, uh, I don't know, the, the taste factor. Because now he, he talks about, uh, an example was when uh, Mencia was citing uh, an act about the late pop singer Whitney Houston and uh, the stereotype that black people can't swim. Uh, Houston drowned uh, in February 2012 in a bathtub in a, in a hotel. And, uh, yeah, that's the kind of jokes that Mencia does. And uh, I'm going to finish this up just quick. Um, and Mencia, in an interview, uh, islandpacket.com, he said that there's nothing anyone can do to bring Whitney Houston back, and it doesn't make me a bad person to tell a joke about it, and it doesn't make someone a bad person for laughing at the joke, Mencia said. You're also not a better person for choosing not to laugh, but that's how so many people think. Um... I'm sorry, it's really a tasteless joke, and uh, it actually does make you a bad person to tell it, um, to even think that that would be funny. I mean, I'm sorry, but... So that kind of gives you a little insight into how Mencia sees uh, comedy. So yeah, I don't think he's going to be coming back anytime soon. So yeah, I don't think Amy Schumer did it, but yeah, just don't steal jokes. I know it's not a big thing on YouTube. You don't have people stealing each other's material because we mostly think of this stuff on our own. But every once in a while, you might have two people review a game and there might be a similar kind of joke. But quite honestly, an easy joke is an easy joke, you know, and, and sometimes that's why they often, when you're doing material, they'll... Uh, I've also often heard that, you know, never take the first or even the second joke that you think of. Uh, you actually should be taking the third and fourth that you think of because you want all the other people to be picking those first two jokes. You know, let them make the easy joke and you need to actually come up with something that's a bit more clever. So, I've always heard that. But on a side note, uh, yes, uh, I got uh, programs now that I can use to do a bit better editing and whatnot i'm just kind of limited to the video footage i'll probably just have to use the video footage i've already been using with upload studio you know it's it's 720p 30 frames a second but uh but i'm getting there eventually i will get a capture card and i will be able to capture video at 1080p and 60 frames on the games that i play and uh, but i, I want to be doing this i want to be you know not just using this you know footage in the background I want to be able to uh, have the news articles because that's what I want to see when I listen to somebody like this. But I wanted to get this one out here on Amy Schumer, uh, use up some of this quiet footage I got, but uh, but pretty soon 
uh, you guys will be able to uh, actually listen to just my voice, not have to worry about the background sound, and I'll have a condenser mic, so everything's uh, turning up striker, so thanks a lot.